Right, cool. So we just found um, a good common edible fungi that you find in lots and lots of places in the woodlands. Um, and it is called the uh, common puffball, uh, Lycoperdum palatum. Um, and this is what it looks like. This is quite young, quite new. They get a bit bigger than this, that's about this size. But they'll always kind of have this shape with a kind of large kind of bulbous head and then it will always, always have some kind of stem, um, at least the size of the, uh, of the cap. You'll have about the same amount in a stem underneath it. And they grow in quite large trays, so there's absolutely loads of little ones coming through all the way through here. We wouldn't pick the little ones because they can be mistaken for young Amanita um, fungi when they're in their egg stage, which could be very dangerous. But they're pretty easy to identify. They're a good beginner fungi for this reason. So I pick a couple and I'm going to show you the main identifying features as a close-up. This is the common puffball, Lycoperdum palatum. The two main identifying features that you're going to be looking out for is firstly on the top of the, on the heads of the uh, on the cap you can see these tiny little like almost they look like pieces of polystyrene they look like little balls of polystyrene and they are loose they will fall off as you uh, as you touch them so they'll always be there that's a that's a very useful identifier the other really important thing to do is to cut them in half so um, Common puffball will always have a stem, and the reason I'm saying that is because you could mistake it for an earth ball, which is poisonous, and looks kind of superficially similar, certainly when they're young. But the main thing is you're going to be cutting it in half and looking, and it should be pure white all the way through, but it also, uh, drop that one, pure white all the way through. But also, you shouldn't see any sign of gills or any, any kind of mushroominess other than just, just a pure white consistency all the way through. As they get older, they become puffy, and so the top part will start to fill up with this part here will actually start to go greeny brown inside, and then it will turn into the spores, and it will become puffy at the top, and those spores will come out, and you can't eat it at that stage. So you'll only ever eat it when it is pure white all the way through. So that is that's a really important identifier. No signs of gills or anything like that, so it's not, an, not another mushroom in its kind of early stages of development. It is a puffball. It's got those little sprinkles all over the top of it um, on the outside. Uh, it's growing in woodland, it's got a stem, common puffball, good edible fungi, pretty easy one for the pot.